Hey, what is up? My name is Chris and welcome to Coding in Public. Today we've got another fun web app project that we're going to work on. You'll see here it's a little review slider and it's got some cool features to it. Uh, number one, all of this is dynamically generated with client-side JavaScript. And uh, then number two, we've got these cool kind of gradient shadows that are fun to play with. And then as you just go from review to review, it'll loop back around eventually to the front. Uh, and all this is going to happen with JavaScript on the client side. All right, let's go ahead and jump right in. Today, we're just going to look at the HTML. Next time will be CSS. And finally, the fun stuff, JavaScript for the third video. Okay, so I've got nothing going on here except for some images uh, here, which we're going to use here in a little bit. And uh, then I've also got this uh, JSON file that we're going to look at once we get into the third video. Let me go ahead and close this down then. And we're just going to look at the HTML. The first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and add some uh, just Emmet short hand here and let's just call this review uh, slider something like that and then let's zoom in a bit just so it's a little easier to see all right and if i say like hi in here and save it this should hot reload and uh, there you go you got hi now as we look over at our project we've got this background and then we've got this uh, area right here that has a header and it has this description and then this is the area down here that's going to switch and it's these little review sections here that are really the only thing that are going to change on the page. So let's start with this background and then we'll get this thing positioned in the center. Uh, we'll have to do a lot of the styling obviously later. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and wrap everything in something called review container. All right, and this is just Emmet. I'm just going to expand it here. This is a div that will hold everything. That's that white area. That background we're going to apply with CSS in the next video. Now at the top, we remember we had that section that had our what our clients say, and we're going to call that review header. And then inside here, we're going to have an H2, and that H2 is going to have the text, what our clients say. And let me go ahead and expand that. And then we'll have a paragraph below that, and that paragraph says, we partner with some pretty amazing people, et cetera, et cetera. So this is the review header area, and next we have the review content. So review content. And inside here, we're going to have three things. You'll notice we've got these arrows, and then we've got this section that changes. So let's add those one at a time. Now, what I went ahead and did is we're going to wrap these SVGs inside of buttons. And the reason I'm doing that is so that you kind of get the benefits of the accessibility of those buttons. You can also tab to them. And uh, so it's just way better to use something like that that's already built in for navigation. We will give them a class of arrow, and then depending on which one we're clicking here, we'll have like this first one will be arrow of left, um, and then the other one will be arrow of right. So the first thing let's do though is let's go over to phosphor icons, which I've done before. Phosphor, I guess, icons. Uh, I just searched for arrow here. I'm going to grab arrow left to start with and copy the SVG. This is an open source uh, thing that's I think is pretty cool. I'm going to come in here and change both of these to 35, um, and I think. Let's see, other than that, I'm going to go ahead and switch this stroke color uh, anywhere we can find it. And I just selected one and hit Command D to select the rest of those. We'll just change this to current color because that's what we're going to use uh, in our CSS to style the color of those uh, rather than having to manually add it here. That way, if you change your mind too, it's pretty quick to change those around. Okay, so that's the left button. Even though we got to do that middle section with the reviews in it, let's go ahead and change the right button here as well. And we'll say arrow of right. And then let's grab the right arrow, copy the SVG, and repeat that. OK, so we've got our buttons set up there. And if I come back over here to our review slider, you see that they are showing. Obviously, the styling isn't quite right, but that's OK. So inside these buttons, in between the buttons, that is, we're going to have a class of reviews, just like that. And then inside here is where we're going to dynamically generate those reviews with JavaScript. And for now, what I'm going to do is just copy and paste. You don't have to worry about this, but we got to style something. Um, if you want to go ahead and grab this from the repo, I'll leave a link in the description, and you can grab that if you'd like. Now, we save here. You see that it populates with an image. It populates with uh, the name, the location, stars, and then some little quote. I pulled those images here from UI Faces. They have a lot of images that you can use for whatever, and that's where I've grabbed them from. Now, if you're following along with me, you can go ahead and look at the repo. I've given you a code for this, but hopefully that was easy enough to follow the next time. We'll be a little bit longer because we're going to focus on our CSS. All right, thanks so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Happy coding.